folks, we're in Exmouth today and we're at Shelley Gut. And we're just going to do a painting of an old boat across the way just to get started. It's a nice day and we'll just see how we go. So without further ado, let's get on with the painting. Well, it's an absolutely scorching day here at Exmouth. I've laid in the drawing, taken a bit of time to do it. Um, trying to get the composition as interesting as possible. I've in fact chosen quite a difficult composition with a very busy background but I just love the shape of this boat. Um, my good friend Ray Bulkwell who paints here at Shelley Gut as he calls it quite a lot um, came up and explained that uh, it's the boat itself is called the Cleone. It's a yawl rigged and it's known to have been racing in 1870s so it's got quite a history. It's a beautiful shape and I just couldn't resist having a go, so hopefully I can do it justice. So I'm laying in as much of the painting as I can, as early as I can, concentrating a lot on the boat but trying to get the capture the light before it moves too much. Working with acrylics on in a watercolour um, sketchbook and uh, just trying to capture as much as I can of the essence of the scene. It's a really interesting place this. Um, I've lived in Exeter area for a long time but I've never actually visited this very spot and um, I thought I'd visit it because my good friend Ray is doing a workshop today and um, one of my pupils has attended it so I thought I would crash his workshop unbeknownst to him and then he spotted me and came over and we had a good old chat um, anyway there are lots of distractions around there's lots of seagulls there's lots of interesting boats people working on boats all kinds of stuff kids in the background playing it's very active and lots of interesting sounds and sights and um, all these things add up to making um, a very atmospheric day So this greenish area I'm painting in at the moment is slight seaweedy mud at the edge of the water as low tide reveals it and it starts to dry out so um, quite a tricky thing to capture because it's changing all the time as is the light but it's exciting trying to do it. And higher up behind the boats we've got a bit of sand, nice golden sand uh, just where the edge of the beach meets the houses, so uh, that's, that's a nice interesting bit of yellowish colour. I could easily have wandered around here for hours and not done any painting at all, just looking at boats, looking at things. It's so nice, there's so much to see, and um, I had to plump for something. And I probably could have benefited from looking around a bit more before I actually settled to it, but I can only get down here so often, so... Um, I'm not disappointed, it's a good subject. Apparently the yacht had some damage and this is why it's laid up and not in the water at the moment so um, it's waiting for repairs um, but that's a benefit for me. Hopefully they'll repair it okay and it'll get back in the water fairly soon. Beautiful ships like that are meant for sailing. So now I'm trying to paint between the masts and through to the buildings behind there's a, a, a terrace row of houses overlooking the uh, cut and it's um it's quite an attractive bunch of houses but really it's not helping the composition at all and in some ways I wanted to leave it out but I felt I had to kind of paint it in so um start working then and then beach starts to change and trying to simplify things all the time uh, to keep the centre of focus on the boat. Also things like this tide line I'm painting at the moment kind of help with the um, creating 
the image of distance, the illusion of distance, only they're there, but it helps. And now I'm dry brushing in the buildings at the back to try and keep it hazy and not get too involved with them. difficult thing to do, especially when you're frying in such a hot sun and the paints are drying all the time. Um, it's really hard to sort of keep fresh and sometimes you've just got to stop, have a cup of tea and think, regroup. Um, hard to maintain focus at certain times when you're painting outside, um, but you've just got to keep going, keep going. In many ways I wish I'd just concentrated on more of a close-up of the hull and really worked on the shape and form of it and the sculptural qualities. But I wanted to get that height of that mast and that necessitated a larger view, um, which in some ways is a mistake. And now I'm kind of breaking my monochromatic rule and the green of the trees is going in and it's starting to get busy. And um, well, we'll see how this develops. So I'm trying to introduce a few more colours here as I work on the background and um, complete the blocking, but I'm not sure, maybe it's, maybe it's going wrong slightly. beautiful blue sky it is. Um, a few fluffy clouds scudding around, uh, which it, hence the light and shade you see as, uh, as things change as I move on. And the shadows is always becoming a bit longer. And here's the actual view with quite bright light on it. And now I've decided that I need to simplify the background and blue it out a bit. So I'm reworking it, it just needed reworking, so I couldn't live with it. But um, simplification is the name of the game sometimes and when you're overworking something and you just can't reconcile what you're doing, you've got to just take the plunge and um, it's a bit of a risk at this stage. As I said, I think maybe just a study of the whole would have been the best but um, 
I'm kind of committed now and I want to make it work so I'm just keeping going and uh, hopefully I can pull it around lots of paintings go through strange stages and uh, this is certainly the strangest part of this painting so far um, so I just keep pressing on and I've made it a bit paler now and that's kind of helping to emphasise what's going on in the foreground so I think it's starting to come now and with the pencil and a couple of pencil crayons I can draw in some of the finer details some of the little bits of rigging and mast and some of the TV aerials and things that just give tiny little secondary focus, focuses and help concentrate the eye and move things around so yeah, I think it's starting to come at last